The Mississippi River is particularly special to Minnesotans because it originates here. It's one of the few places where you can go a little ways to the north and see it as a tiny brook, but by the time you get to the Twin Cities, it's already a mighty river. It has so much dramatic landscape. It changes the state tremendously as you move through it. And there's a huge opportunity to redefine the whole city's relationship with the river. The problem with that industrial development along the river is that it, it really disconnected the people who lived along the river from the river itself. People can easily live within five blocks of the river and not realize that they're within five blocks of the river, so they don't really get any of the advantages that you might normally get from living on a river. So what we really need is this long linear green park that provides trail connections, it links destinations along the way, it also provides a really strong environmental corridor through the city, and so that has economic benefits, social benefits, health benefits uh, for both the environment and for the people who live in the city. When we first came here we were involved in an international design competition about five years ago and it became clear after a while that it's the river itself that is the heroic thing but it's not accessible. It's not accessible to species, it's not accessible to humans, it's invisible. It's invisible. People are dying to connect from north to south and even from east, east to west in terms of habitat. Uh, this area has always been the back, and the question is, how can the back become the front? All we need to do is reconnect everybody and everything with the river itself. It's no accident that people are beginning to think in new ways about rivers. We have an opportunity today to create essentially a 21st century uh, version of what the river should look like uh, for the future of our state and our community and to really create a new renaissance that is already taking place with the development of waterworks and many other things that are popping up along this river. I think the grand vision for, for waterworks and River First is to make this an incredible natural magnet for our own community, but also for uh, our nation and, and people who want to visit here from around the world. People feel a very special connection to this place, uh, and I think Rivers uh, have that kind of spiritual connection to people. They inspire people, they've inspired poets and artists for centuries, and they inspire everyday citizens like you and I uh, to think bigger thoughts and to gain a greater appreciation of why it's so special to be on this earth. We have a high concentration of youth, so getting their perspectives means a lot because by the time all this happens 15 years from now, They'll be the ones living and working in this community. I mean, there's no better way to know what the river means than to be on the river itself, experience it. I mean, really catch that view and be like, wow, our city is beautiful, right? Seeing it on a map is one thing, experiencing it is a whole other thing. And I mean, you can't replace experience. For the time being, what's good now is starting that dreaming process of getting them to dream about what could be here. And there's no better way to do that than having them just on the water, canoeing, kayaking, experiencing what's here.